a final hurrah to save this match. He's two legs away from defeat, but looking positively, he's four legs away from victory. That's the start he needed coming out of the short break. Barnabell just can't find the range. <laughs> Mate, oh, they sit there in the crowd, look, and uh, I wonder if two of those, two of those other Barneys might fancy having a go up there. Maybe Van Barnabell will hand him his darts. Mark Walsh is handling these darts. Yeah, and spectacular stuff. A six one eighty for Mark Walsh. This should be eleven ten. Don't put the kettle on. Stay in front of the screen. Van Barnabell battering back. Walsh determined to scrap right to the end. Nice. Raymond van Barnwell, former postman from The Hague, could really do with a special delivery right now. You see, the, the first two darts were beyond explanation. The third one was fine. Yeah. The score was great, 100 was okay, wasn't it? But the three darts, as you say, Dave, two of them were, by his standards, awful darts. It's, it's mystifying, it's utterly mystifying out there. 42. Sorry, 46. Mark Walsh leaves 40. Raymond van Barneveld could do with 140 here. Well, and well, he delivers to leave 64, so a lot of pressure. Yeah, but uh, Walsh has been particularly good on his doubling. Double 10 now. And once again, it's precise and it's profitable. Big leg. Big, big leg of darts here for both players. Van Barneveld looking to move to the hill to within one leg of victory. Walsh looking to tie it up. Good cover shooting from Van Barneveld. Best cover shooting of the match from the Dutchman. And he needed it too because the first part at 12 20 was a fair way off the target. A leg that Barneveld really can ill afford to lose both uh, actually and psychologically. And uh, Walsh still had the better of the opening exchanges. That Sun Table tells its own story. Walsh has uh, a better record in every section apart from 140, and then he's level. Oh, and he's got a better checkout success rate as well. Yeah, as you can see from the checkout stats that Dave was referring to, 63% to 52%. Mark Walsh is winning this game statistically. He's losing it on the scoreboard, 11-10. Oh, that was useful for Barnabas. Takes him down for a finish. She'll be looking concerned. I think she'll be uh, in need of a little drink by the end of the night. Yes. Because the old man is making her worry in the guest seats now. 17. Full he wants. 18 she'll go for. He had a look. He knows that Walsh can't finish and he knows that that leaves him a favourable finishing double. To be fair, Dave, in amongst all the turmoil that's going on in his head here, Van Barneveld has produced a very good leg of darts to leave 32 after 12 hours. Going to round it off, though. This is the important bit. And double eight again. <laughs> double eight, double eight, double sweet. Sylvia's on her feet, so are his followers. Barneveld now just a leg away thanks to those double, double on eight and uh, Walsh now with it all to do. Yeah, we've used the phrase several times, wow. doing just enough. That is what Van Barneveld is doing, doing just enough to get through. Mark Walsh hasn't turned it in by any stretch of the imagination and here's another <laughs> loose visit from Van Barneveld. But that last leg meant that Barnabas, in a sense, can afford to lose this leg, and uh, with the darts in the 24th, should be looking to anchor it there. It's all hypothetical. I'm sure he'd like to uh, wrap it all up here. What a time to hit a magic max! And what a time indeed! It puts him potentially to within six darts 
of victory. But no, Mark no. Walsh isn't finished yet. <laughs> Fighting performance from Walsh here. We're having quite a leg. Now then. Doesn't need a round ton. Should come out. Might be 25 or ball. But I was thinking ahead of us. 161 for Walsh to stay alive. It's not on, so Van Barnevelt is coming back, looking for 160 to send Mark Walsh packing. Wouldn't it be typical of Barnevelt should he check out on this one? Not a possibility. He'll take that, and now Walsh has got to hit this 96 to stay in the tournament. A nail-biting 96 for Mark Walsh. He will get two darts at double 18. He has one dart at double 18. He saves the match! Mark Walsh kept his cool, kept his bottle. It's 12-11, Barnabas thrown to the match. Just wonder psychologically how much that will affect Barnabas. A real test of his character. And that's a really poor first start. Yes, look at him. He, you could almost see him disintegrating. No one has a clue what is going to happen next here. There'll be people doubting Van Barneveld. There'll be others doubting Mark Walsh after that loose opening dart. But one of them is going to stumble over the finishing line and one of them is going to play Terry Jenkins. It really is no pleasure to see Raymond Van Barneveld. He's a lovely bloke looking so tortured and I think that's not an exaggeration. 125. The 125 provokes a ripple of applause from Mrs. Van Barnevelt. Mark Walsh cannot afford under this pressure not to find a treble. He needs a treble. He hasn't found one. Barnevelt has a lead of 44 points. And his fans can't watch. The tension is tangible. And that will probably just about do Van Barnevelt unless Walsh can pick up a 140. Barnevelt is back within six darts of the match. Mark Walsh simply has to find a treble. And he has. Oh, oh now then, Dave Lamy. Once again, puts the pressure on. Barnevelt can't get clear here. Only four in front. Wrong treble. Oh, that was terrific. That was more like the old Barnevelt and Silver responds there because those two treble twenties just when it looked like a disappointing return was coming in but uh, Walsh again will put pressure it's a nail biting encounter oh he wanted the 25 it slipped away well the treble 20 will leave him his favourite double 18 and it's been such a good friend to him not the best first throw and that's another terrible 153 all over the board here for Walsh 20s, 19s, and then double 18 for Walsh on 153. Barnvald really was way off the target. Round the clock backwards here for Mark Walsh. He's not going to do it. A scowl, a snarl. Barnvald will have three darts at double nine for a date with Terry Jenkins in the quarters. And he knows that Walsh is breathing right down his neck. Sylvie's on her feet. Barnvald's looking at double nine. Now he's got to be clever. Very clever. Oh, terrific. Squeezed it in. Raymond Van Barneveld staggers over the finishing line against Mark Walsh. It was a tortured match for the Dutchman, but he's got through. You can see what it means to him. Barneveld goes through. And coming up in just a moment, the match they've been waiting for, Wade and Anderson.